I got an email today, and let's just get this out of the way now. Let us be praying for everyone in Florida. Uh, I was watching the news tonight, and, it, and they were saying that it looks like another um, another hurricane, probably a Category 2, maybe as much as a Category 3, will um, will snuggle up with Florida and from the from the Gulf of Mexico, and it looks like it's going to go right from, from west to east. So let's pray for the folks in Florida. Um, they're still, like, again, they're still trying to recover from, from what Helene left. And now we have this other one coming through. It's so far, it's unnamed. I think it's just a tropical depression, but it's expected to go to a tropical storm tonight, tomorrow, to turn into a hurricane Monday and hit possibly Tuesday evening, Wednesday. So we're going to pray for Florida. We're going to pray for Florida and, and the residents, um, and we're going to pray for the people who are digging themselves out from Helene, uh, those impacted by Helene. And you know what? While we're on this topic, let's just talk about it. Uh, let's talk about what has, what's really kind of been ticking me off uh, the last couple of days. So as I was traveling, I was getting emails and I was still able to read my emails and, and uh, I was getting some notices about um, news stories the lies that are being told about Helene and the damage that was caused. Um, The lies that were being told about the federal assistance. So Trump started off by saying, you know, nobody can reach Biden. He's asleep somewhere. He's taking a nap in the corner or something along those lines. Maybe he's off on vacation, Uh, but he's out of reach, out of touch. Nobody can reach him. Governors can't get through to them, can't get the help that they need. Despite the fact that, let's see, the governor of Georgia, governor of North Carolina, governor of South Carolina, governor of... Uh, I want to say the governor of Florida as well, and and others have all come forward and said, we got everything we need. They, they, we are without nothing. We have all the assistance that we need, and whatever, whenever we've come up with uh, something new, whenever we've figured out we need something new, we've asked and it's been provided. Uh, that that this guy, this Biden character, he is Johnny on the spot. He is uh, jack of all trades. He is there for us, and, and he's picking up our calls. Um so, you know, that was the first lie. We're going to, well, let's, let's lie about, let's lie about Biden. Okay. So again, we've talked about lying. And, and so I think we're going to, we're going to switch terms. This is bearing false witness. This is bearing false witness against Biden. Can't be trusted. Not doing the job. Not doing the job like I would do the job. Okay. So bearing false witness. So this bearing false witness. Yeah. He's, he's kind he's trying to destroy Biden's reputation. I get it. And as we said before in a video a couple of weeks ago, when you bear false witness, it's not the same as lying. It has a, it has a more sinister, uh, a more sinister uh, purpose and it causes significant damage. Okay. Bearing false witness can have, can have significant consequences on, on the people. Um, It can have significant negative consequences on the people you're lying about you're bearing false false witness about. It can have negative consequences if, for example, you're bearing false witness to free someone uh, from the things that they've said, and you're bearing false witness to free them from the consequences of that, that false witness can, can have negative consequences on the people around them because now we're stuck dealing with this person more. Okay. Uh, and we're going to come to that in just a second because that's another thing that, that we're seeing. So the other... Now there's rumors going around that FEMA is going to do this and FEMA is going to do that and nobody's there to help and this person's failing and that person's failing and this one's coming to take all of your stuff and that one's coming to take all of your land and uh, you know the, these and these are prominent people. A congressman posted something about and and this what did I it was on the bulwark today I was listening to it on my drive in from from uh, from Halif- into Halifax. And uh, it was along the lines of a congressman who was on a call with FEMA, listening to what FEMA was doing in those regions, tweeted later saying, they're all out of money. Oh, Trump was one of the great ones. Trump talking about how uh, FEMA has given a billion dollars, can't find it, given a billion dollars to, uh, to help illegal immigrants. Washington Post actually came back and said, nope, that's not true. That's not true, but he did it. He did it during a, a, a hurricane. He actually said, hey, 
here's some money for hurricane relief. We're going to take it from FEMA and we're going to put it into, uh, into our detention centers for illegal immigrants along the border. Not what the money's earmarked for. That's not, that's not the purpose of it, but that's what, he, that's what he did with it. And now he's accusing Biden of doing the same thing. This is, it's ridiculous. And, and these kinds of lies, you know, that congressman who, who's coming along and saying, yeah, FEMA can't be trusted. FEMA doesn't have any money. The FEMA's run out of funds. Uh, Fox News said something along the lines of that there's only $750 available to people. No, that's just a check that they're willing to cut you right now so that you can, if you're able to, get the things that you need. If you've been impacted by this storm, you're able to get the things that you need. All of these things are meant to destroy public confidence in these aid, these, uh, these aid agencies and these aid organizations. We're going to convince you, don't go to them. Because if you go to them, my God in heaven, you might actually get the help you need. And if you get the help you need, you're not going to be miserable. You're not going to suffer. And if you're not miserable and you're not suffering, you might actually be thankful and grateful. Maybe you'll even think, geez, these Democrats ain't so bad. That Democratic president, that Biden fella, he's not such a bad character. No. They need people to suffer so that Trump can claim, I will fix it all. And then, you know, be the hero. In November, when he, November 7th, walks in and says, you know, now that I'm the president-elect, we're going to get this stuff done. No. They need, they need drama. They need tragedy. They need people to suffer, and they don't care who it is. So this bearing false witness, they're bearing false witness against FEMA. We're going to knock FEMA down a peg. They're bearing false witness up against Biden. We're going to knock Biden down a peg. We're going to make it so that our supporters, the vast majority of the people who are impacted by Hurricane Helene are are in red states. They're in red counties. The vast majority would would be Republican, if not mega supporters, Trump voters. He needs them to suffer so that there's a problem for him to claim he, he and he alone is the only one that can solve. Now, with this being said, the other thing that really, that really got me, and I, and I never thought too much of it last week, I think it was, uh, J.D. Vance was on the news and he was challenged. They said, I think it was on CNN, they challenged them and they said, what's, what's with these lies about uh, Springfield, Ohio and these immigrants? And he said, you know, I created that. I created that because we needed to get the national media, the, na- the we needed to get the, the media to, to address these issues. So I, I created that lie. Now, I think it was Dana, I can't think of her last name, but she said, wait, wait, what, did you just say you created it? You know, his, the reason though, he had a good reason for bearing false witness against a marginalized um a large a marginalized group within the population he had a good reason for putting them in danger he had a good reason for for uttering falsehoods that led to the police having to be at elementary schools and led to threats he he had a good reason for uh for saying these kinds of things that led the proud boys to come for a a demonstration a protest where thankfully they were encountered by residents of Springfield who let them have it, told them exactly what they thought and told them to leave. We don't want your hate here. Springfield's about love. He had a good reason. He had a good reason for creating, he had a good reason for creating a, a, a high intensity moment for a lot of innocent people. He needed the media to talk about the immigrant situation because they weren't talking about the immigrant situation enough. So he created this lie. He created this, again, he, he, he was willing to bear false witness for all the right reasons. And today, as I was listening, because I had a long drive, today as I was listening to the news, as I was listening to podcasts, fell on CNN. They asked him these lies that Trump are telling, and thankfully they're actually starting to call them. They're not saying these he misspoke. They're not saying he twisted the truth. They're calling it lies. These lies that that Trump is telling about FEMA. 
It's putting people in danger. Why is he doing that? Well, he's, I think, you know, he's trying to draw attention. Oh, so he's lying for the, he's lying for the good reason, for the good cause. He's putting people in harm's way. He's keeping people in harm's way. He's keeping people from reaching out to get the the support and the assistance that's available to them that they need. He's keeping them in misery. He's keeping them suffering with his lies, convincing those people who trust him implicitly that FEMA is out to get them, that this is a big trick, that this is just a big trap. (sighs) He's doing it to draw attention to the plight. It's awful. It's going to get people hurt. It's going to keep people in a state of of suffering more more than they were already going to experience cleaning up after hurricane helene is going to take a long time it's going to take a long time with all of the resources of the federal government on the ground it's going to take a long time because it's not just the physical it's the emotional it's the mental right it's the spiritual it's going to take a long time And with the nonsense, with these falsehoods, with these lies, bearing false witness against Biden, against FEMA, against the governors who who are doing their best, he's putting a lot of people at risk. They're, They're making it so that their own supporters don't know who they can trust. They're making it so that their their supporters come to believe that. They're the only ones they can trust. And that, that's not true. You know, I, I saw, I saw uh, uh, an image. I saw an image of, a, it was an AI-generated image of Donald Trump in his blue suit standing in knee-deep water. You know, with all these people on the bank, of the, of, on the shore, and he's handing out paper towel. I tried to find an unedited image. The only one I could find was an, was an edited image where it had all these captions like, dude, what is it with you and paper towel? It is an AI generated image, but you know, it looks real. He's the only one that can help. That's what he wants them to think. He's the only one that can help. I, I will get you your paper towel. I will, I will put the carpet down in your home. I will replace your hardwood floors. I'll fix your furnace. I'll, I'll replace your televisions. I'll replace all your furniture and I, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll reside your house. I'll, whatever it is, I'm the one that'll do it. You can, you can trust me. Can't trust anybody else. Don't trust anybody else. Don't even listen to anybody else. They don't, they don't know the truth. I'm the only one that can help. No, 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 don't, don't ignore the people with the FEMA coats. Ignore the people who are trying to help. Ignore the people who are handing out meals and handing out water. Ignore the people who are giving you emergency assistance. Ignore them. I'm the only one that can help. Bearing false witness, as these are doing, is a sign of desperation. And ultimately, well, as we have seen, between Bible sales and sneaker sales and Bitcoin sales and, and oh gosh, the, the, the images, the, you know, the superhero poses and uh, what else is he selling? Oh, uh, a paperweight. I saw a paperweight. Fight, 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 paperweight. It's just another example that these guys are willing to, these guys are willing to take everything from the people that love them. To get what they want, they're willing to, they're willing to make their own suffer because they want the votes, and they know that they'll get more votes if their people are experiencing hardship. It's sick. It's sick, and it's gross, and. For, you know, again, I'll, I'll just, I, I've been in, I, I've been through a plethora of podcasts for those people out there, um, for those people out there who would say that Trump is 
is the Messiah for America and Trump is the Moses figure for America and Trump is the Jesus figure for America. For those people out there who would say that God, that, that God has anointed and appointed Trump, that he is, uh, he is the one that God has ordained should, I'm done. It's gross what you're doing. And again, you know, it's bearing false witness. And there are going to be dire consequences because of your lies. There's going to be dire consequences because of how you prop this guy up. There's going to be dire consequences. You may ultimately get what you want out of it. You may get the fame. You may get the fortune. You may get the following. You may get the prestige, the authority. You may get a seat at his table. But you're sacrificing the flock for it. Just as he's willing to sacrifice his flock for his own power. Amen. Oh,